Another beautiful day on the homestead. A little fresh snow. Could use my old fire pit. However, we got this bad boy to play with. This is the Even Embers Pellet Heater. Yes, I bought this to see if it would be possible to use this as a heater outside that's easy to use and could it be used in say a tiny house. We'll see how big it is when we get it together. I already did the unboxing because it wouldn't fit my car. There we go. I made it for the first few steps. That's how she looks. Yeah. Let's get the rest of it put together. Okay, we are assembled. Goes really tall. Okay, straight out. Got this going. Supposed to lift this. Close it. Okay. Now it's loaded the hopper. Got it lit and is now officially going through its uh burn off period before I can turn it on high and see how how good the heat is off this thing. So far I feel a little bit of heat, but not not like a fire pit yet. Just reached the 15 minute mark and it's ripping and whirring. I am starting to feel a little heat off of it. It's starting to feel warm where I wouldn't want to touch it. I can feel heat close by. The snow is melting near it. So we'll give it a little bit more. But I can feel the heat off of it now, standing right in front of it. It is 26 degrees outside. 30 minutes in. Definitely feel the warmth off of it now. Yeah. <sighs> Over here, you can see my breath. But right in front of it. Oh, no breath at all. And my and my my jeans are hot to the touch. Oh yeah. And it's 23 degrees out. Now this is cool. We're about an hour and 15 minutes into it, and I just now noticed the edge of the snow here next to the fire look at that yeah that just gives you a basic idea of how much heat we're above freezing in the in the zone shoes are almost dry it is 14 degrees out here 14 degrees i'm now in the shutdown stage because well my feet are getting cold maybe if you had some like cement blocks or something on the bottom that would help keep your feet warm instead of a cold ground but uh i would say this is a uh, very successful um a little ash on top there um can't see but i've almost used a um we'll say three quarters of a hopper so not too bad but uh yeah my tolerance point was three hours down to 14 degrees and while you're outside enjoying a sunrise, it also makes a great coffee warmer. It keeps it nice and hot. Now that I've used this thing for a couple of weeks, I can now finally say my final thoughts on it. Um, one thing that's kind of annoying is, of course, the glass gets very, very dirty very, very quickly. So you're constantly, I use like some gloves and I wipe it off. Um, but yeah, like 10 minutes into a, you know, a burn, it ashes up really quick. Yes, ashes fills up pretty quickly. Um, my main complaint is the hopper. And I saw other reviews um, complaining about this as well. The hopper sometimes gets stuck. So what I have to do is take this, lift it all the way up, and put this rock under it to make it function properly. It's like there needs to be uh, some type of adjustment there. And then the other second part about the hopper is this it's a pain in the butt to open because i can't it would happen to open it to adjust the pellets or add pellets it could really use some type of knob or something here so i might modify that into it um after about a week this gets really really clogged up uh, so i use a barbecue metal barbecue brush to clean it out like that that's how that works other than that um I finally read the uh, instructions and it's clearly stated do not install in RVs and do not install indoors. However, if you're smart and clever and safe, you might be able to do some modifications to make something work. So, 
Um, I'm probably going to end up using it in the outdoor kitchen when it gets built because in, it's, you know, it's an outdoor kitchen, plenty of ventilation and air. Just follow the uh, instructions of 36 inches of clearance and I think it's going to be, be just fine. So there you go, the Even Embers wood pellet heater. I love the sound of wind chimes. A little breezy today. Hopefully I can try to talk. But it's time for a bit of an update. Um, there's some things I want to talk about. and I know some people were kind of curious over here as to if the uh, carport um, roof has ever been done. But it is now. My neighbor came over and saw me working on it. And I'm like, you want to make a hundred bucks? We got it done in about two hours. But there she is. All ready to go. All roofed. Excited to get some rain capturing off that bad boy. Um, well, there's going to be some changes. This is probably the biggest update ever. Um, my job that I was working at was just too many hours, too long of a days. And it was wearing me down to the point where I was, I'm not getting anything done on my homestead and building and doing things. So I made the decision last week time to quit the job um so that way my wife's not like hey you go you, you go to work in the morning stay out for sometimes 12 hours 14 hours and uh come home you just eat and sleep and it started doing this over and over and over kept kept wearing me down and uh then on saturday i'd go and do all the uh off-grid chores so by the time sunday comes a day i could actually do something on the homestead i'm beat I need to I need to rest, you know what I mean? You know, I got I want to fix up this chicken coop because it's looking a little rough from the winter. Um, so there's that. And um, for for my future career, I am actually gonna follow my dream as a music composer. Um, uh, there will be more about this in the next video. I'm gonna start a new series on this channel. Still sick with the homestead stuff and our projects around here, but I'm gonna focus on a series about becoming your an entrepreneur from start. Um, I've always wanted to do this, but I've always like, oh, I'll do it on the weekends, I'll do it on uh, after work, but work just keeps getting in the way. And next thing you know, years go by. So I'm pulling the trigger on that. Um, I'm just gonna pull, go full force and just do it and see where this goes. I'll document the whole process as well. So um, that will be the new series. But yeah, it's time for a change in my life because I'm sitting there being work, 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 work. And we moved here to slow down, to not be able to have to work, 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 work. And that's, I, I end up doing the same thing I was doing before we moved here. And it's like, okay, what, what was the reason we got here? Our goals and our and this has always been a part of the master plan. I just you know ended up getting it back into that job cycle. But, ooh, uh, but it feels good. It's a good wind. So there you go, folks. Um, there's going to be a lot more videos on the channel now. I'm going to be composing a lot more music, adding it to the videos, and make like a song a week. Um, I'm going to go through a distributor who's going to take care of it and help with me more royalties. Um, probably get, I think I'm going to use Distro Kid and Song Something. I can't remember. I have to look it up on my phone. I have all the resources. I just need to sign up for these accounts and then they'll take care of pushing it like to YouTube and TikTok so people can use it in their videos and I collect royalties off of it. So, And I already have like over 300 tracks that I've already made, and I'm going to, but I'm going to get back into making new ones and continue in this process. So, Stay tuned, guys, because it's a new adventure and a fresh start because it's pretty much spring. And I can finally have the time to get my projects done on a homestead and actually build a homestead. Almost been here two years, and I've done very little because I'm just tired from work. So. With that, I'm going to end it here. This has been Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.